Hey there, Washington Heights. Pastor Mike here, Pastor Jimmy. We're coming to you with a few more questions from our Q&A time in this uh, last series we've been in, Jesus Among Many Gods. And uh, this last week, Pastor Roy talked about this idea of culturalism and that good people go to heaven. And so we want to answer a few more of those questions that came in. Pastor Roy is on some much needed time off with his family this week, so we're filling in for him. We're so filling in. What do we got, Jimmy? You know, a lot of people ans uh, ask these questions and a lot of them fall in kind of the same category. And so we're gonna try to answer two of this, the questions with the same answer. Mm -hmm. So let me read the two questions right now. The first one is, how fair is it that God accepts deathbed repentance but doesn't accept those who live a good life? It's a good question. Mm -hmm. Second one, what should the appropriate response be to someone who thinks all people go to heaven? So I think they kind of categorize in the same thing. So what do you think, Mike? <laughs> yeah, nice little easy question to answer in 30 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, the, the Bible's pretty clear and what Jesus said is that faith in Him, yeah. faith in Him, and, and one of the things that Roy talked about was this line, right? If, if, if we have a loving God that, that we are pursuing, who pursues after us, where does, the, where does he draw the line? If, if your entrance into heaven is based on your good deeds, where is the line? How many good deeds does it take? And, and what kind of loving God would have to draw a hard line that says, if you just would have done one more good deed or opened the door for someone or smiled at someone or just gave a little bit more money or whatever, you fill in the blank. But if you would have done that one more thing, then you would be able to come into heaven. I, I can't imagine a loving God no. drawing a hard line like that. No. But instead provides grace when we put our faith and trust in Him. That's exactly right. You know, one of the things uh, I, I think that I, I look at, Jesus said, you know, if, if you look upon a woman with lust, you've committed adultery. If you have hated someone, you've committed a murder. And by doing that, what he did is he leveled the playing field that we all fall into that same yep. category. Whether we like it or not, I think that puts us all in that same category. The Bible says if you break one sin, if you make, if you break one sin, you broke them all. Right. And so I think what we have a tendency to do is in life to kind of look at kind of God's commands this way. Basically, if I took the whitest sheep that you could see and put it in a green pasture, you'd be like, look how beautiful and clean and wonderful that is. But if I took that same sheep and then put it in the snow, you would say, that sheep is not even <laughs> clean compared to the snow. So what yeah. we have a tendency to do is compare what we perceive yeah. are God's good laws to our good laws, yeah. and they're not the same. What God provided was a fair category for all of us to fall in, saying we're all fallen, like right. you said. Right. He draws the line and it's completely fair and we trust him in that. Yeah, we, we tend to categorize and, and certainly there's a certain degree of uh, more heinous crimes For sure. be, because of they, they tear the fabric of humanity, right? A murderer versus someone who simply steals a thing. But at the same time, God says, here's the law. You've either kept it or you haven't. And it's as simple as that. And so what we do is when we place our faith in Jesus, His, His blessing to us, this, this gift of grace that we have covers all of that and says, because you've placed your faith in me, you're welcome home, welcome to eternity, welcome to heaven. For sure. I think one last thing I'll say is that what we, we do is we compare ourselves, yeah. which is so dangerous, dangerous because then it also makes us look better and it makes us judge God. What we should always do is look in the mirror say, what have I done, who am I, and what do I need? Yep. I need Jesus. And that's gonna be a little bit uh, what we talk about this week. This week is on the topic of religionism and the idea that we place more emphasis on the, the how of serving God versus why we serve Him. Our actions, the things we do, our good deeds, going to church and all the things, we place more emphasis on that rather than simply having a relationship with Jesus. So hope you guys can make it this Sunday, 9.30 or 11 o'clock. We'll see you then.